Hey, here we are with Bing Can't Cook Again. Being hosted by Don, his wonderful house again. Hello. <laughs> <Get> over here. <laughs> so, tonight we're going to make bread and butter pudding, which is good English starch, which is basically what English food is. It's good for you. It doesn't take a lot to cook. It's good and cheap, and it's fill you up on a nice winter's evening. It's much like southern food. So, I'm going to try and prove over the next couple of weeks English food is good. Don't <laughs> believe all you hear. All right, bread and butter pudding is all it says. Um, bread, butter, some cream, about a pint, three egg yolks, about a cup of brown sugar, and this is my father's twist to this traditional recipe is uh, marzipan, which is also sometimes called almond paste, some almonds, and some Californian yellow raisins. Okay, take a break and we will uh, come back to it. Okay, we're going to put it together now. I'll hide this one. Okay, basically all you're going to do is take the bread and butter and put a layer in the bottom of your bread pan. Now this is going to be way big enough for four people, just in a normal bread pan. So you just put the layers of bread in like that. Shot. And then, <laughs> some of the ingredients, some of the raisins, some of the sultanas. Sultanas again. Oh, no, 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 raisins. The sultanas in England. <laughs> Sorry. And also, I I get the cut on camera again. <laughs> Some of the marzipan. Just cut it off the roll. Very thin. Where'd you get this marzipan? Is it at, the yeah, at the store. In the bakery, in the baking aisle. Oh. Okay. Some of that in there. And then carry on until you the whole of the pan. Let me see that one. Here's what one layer looks like in the. It's got another one over here that has like one or three layers on the top. And that's what the package of marzipan looks like, if you want to look for it in the store. What's it called? Oh, dense. Oh, dense. Oh, dense. Oh, dense. Oh, oh, dense. oh Jesus. It's a little Irish marzipan. Okay. <laughs> so we filled the pan up all the way to the top. Okay. It doesn't matter. You're going to squash it down a little bit anyway. Take your egg custard. Give it a final stir. There'll be some sugar in there that hasn't de- oh, it hasn't, uh, dissolved yet. Pour it in, push it away from the sides a little bit, otherwise it'll fall over the board, just like that. <laughs> oh, that's rich. It's richer than rich. Any of this rich. <laughs> Got blue blood in this now. Okay. You get a little messy now. Push the bread down so it soaks up the egg custard. This whole thing's going to bake into itself. The egg custard's going to bake into the bread. The bread's going to go all soft and gooey. The sugar's going to start to make it all syrupy. It's going to be good. And the hot oven. The hot, the oven, we've preheated the oven at 400 now. I'm going to turn it down to 350. I just had it up to 400 just so I could get it hot. Okay, and we're going to stick this in the middle tray. Hang on, let me get a better shot here. Oh, there we go. In the middle of the oven, it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to bake. And we'll be back when it's ready. Okay, we're back, and bread and butter pudding is ready to come out. It smells great in here. Yeah, it does. Oh, a good heavy pan. Sign up good. Food. Okay. Golden brown on top. And you'll be able to feel if it's solid. Kind of like a bread loaf. But you can feel it's still moist in there. It's got some spring to it. Okay. Try and get it sliced out. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. 
Could we grease up the pan? Remember we melted butter in there right at the beginning? Should come out easily. <laughs> I've never had anything like this. I can't wait to try it. Okay. And there you go. Best way to have it served is just with some pouring cream and or some creme anglaise. Maybe we'll do that next time. But those of you who know what creme anglaise is, then you can make that. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. Let's give it a taste here. Uh huh. Okay. Go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. So you're just like. So you would just pour heavy cream right over this? Mm hmm. Well, let's do that. I'm be decadent. Oh my god. <laughs> That's good. That's why English people have rosy cheeks. It's not because of the beer, it's because of the amount of cream and butter we eat. Wow. I think my mom's going to like this one. <laughs> mom, you should try this one. Please do. Mm. Wow. Don't talk about your cooking all the time. That is so good. <laughs> it doesn't taste anything like I thought it was. It's like caramel. Mm -hmm. it's like that caramel. will keep you warm in the winter. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Yeah. Alright, well next week, who knows? <laughs> but it'll be something in English, and hopefully I'll be able to stick my golem. Persuade you that we do know something other than fish and chips. Right. See you later. Thanks for coming back, folks. See ya. Man, that's so good. <laughs>